Jamie Hudson here with the weather forecast and it is a beautiful day for tiptoeing through the tulips at the wooden shoe and there's a reason mm -hmm. I say that today especially. <laughs> Seriously well our Josh Cozart he was out there and he sent in this video Lisa you're right tiptoeing through that's fun like frolicking through the tulips what a beautiful Easter Sunday it was out in Woodburn a high of uh, 64 out there. A few clouds, but a few folks flying their kites, enjoying, enjoying the scenery. Hey, in McMinnville right now, uh, mostly clear skies, 61 degrees, calm winds out there in McMinnville. We make our way over to the Tualatin Valley. A few clouds, but for the most part, mild and nice, dry for all those Easter egg hunts today. 66 degrees in Forest Grove. Pretty calm winds out that way. In Portland, we're looking at 65. A few clouds scattered throughout, uh, but once we get into our evening time, those clouds should usher their way out the door and we're looking at clear skies. Only looking to get down into the low 50s by midnight tonight. Right now our winds out of the northwest at 9 miles per hour. Daytime highs up and down the coast. Wide range of temperatures, 55 for Florence, 60 though the high up there in Astoria. For us here, we hit 65 as did the Dalles and Salem coming in at 63. A lovely day up at government camp, a very warm up there as well, 40 seven right now with their blue skies, but more cascade snow is on the way. Once we get into Wednesday and heading into Thursday, the snow level dropping to about 1500 feet above Sunset Highway. But for our mountains, we could see three to five inches at Mount Hood. And once we get into Friday or four to six inches out at Mount Bachelor, mountain snow coming midweek. For us, our change is the rain. Once we get to Wednesday, scattered showers expected here in Portland with isolated showers Thursday before Friday. We get a little break in the rain and then it looks like next weekend some scattered showers for us. As we time out how much rain we're expecting, Wednesday into Thursday night, this is Thursday at 11 p.m., Portland could see a little over three tenths of an inch, so not too much rain expected midweek. Uh, a bit more as you head down towards Eugene, a little over a uh, half an inch. How about the temperatures? Well, Monday morning, clear skies across the metro area. Chilly, though, only going to get in the upper 30. So grab your layers and then you can peel them off once we get into the afternoon. Upper 60s for us Monday. Increasing clouds Tuesday, but we continue to stay dry through Tuesday. And going into Tuesday afternoon, these temperatures quite nice. Portland expected to get into the low 70s. But with that, we go from 70 degrees to then the 50s. So a little bit of a weather swing once we get into the middle part of our week. But for Monday, uh, the temperatures here ranging from upper 50s to mid 50s on the coast, but another lovely day. Our shoreline though could see some patchy fog in the morning. And then the valley is going to be a nice mild day, upper 60s, above normal temperatures for us for those highs and clear skies timing this out by lunchtime tomorrow. We could see some clouds before they move on out and we look to get into the upper 60s. Here is that seven day forecast. A nice start to the Washington school spring break as uh, Monday and Tuesday we continue with this warm stretch of dry weather and Tuesday is going to be the warmest day looking to get into the low 70s before then we flip a switch. The rain returns Wednesday and those daytime highs only in the low 50s. Also be aware of those morning lows. Going to be a little chilly as we head out the door. So make sure to grab those sweatshirts and those coats. Yeah.